Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be going over the command line of the Microtik router, how to use it, how to navigate through it, uh, what the different menus mean, um, the command line history. So interesting stuff. I know a lot of my viewers sometimes find the command line to be a bit frustrating, but I can guarantee you it's probably one of the best places to be if you're going to troubleshoot. Um, it's also quite easy to use once you get the hang of it. So my recommendation would just be repetition and you'll see that the command line might even be simpler to use than Winbox. Um, I'm going to jump into the actual command line now. So let me just change the screens and I'm not going to show myself in this video because I do feel like um, work on the command line. If I open up the window, I don't want any of the text to get cut out in the corner here. So that's why I'm doing that. All right, so you can see I'm in the terminal window now, and this is the command line. Whenever I hit enter, it obviously goes down to a new line. But the nice thing about the command line is you can always use a question mark or the tab button to see possible commands that you can run from the command line. I also just want to make it clear that um, you'll see that there's different colors for the text. So if you see that the text is this... Uh, cyan or this uh, light blue color that that is actually a sub menu or a menu that you can go into so it's not a physical command that you're running if you type one of these cyan commands into the command line then you'll be asked to add onto that command so if, a, an example is if i type ip um, you'll see if i hit the question mark or i tab it gives me additional options that i can go into from ip the nice thing is with tab and question mark, it gives you obviously the next steps that you can see, but tab will give you the, like a brief summary of everything that you can do. Whereas a question mark is almost like a help uh, line. So whenever you use the question mark, it will show you what exactly the stuff is doing. So this example is if I type IP space DNS, then it obviously means I'm gonna work in the DNS settings, which is quite nice. If the commands are this purple or this uh, magenta color, that's actually a command that you will run on the Microtik. So it's almost like if I do an IP address, which is a menu, if I question mark this, I can see all of this purple commands that I can run. And if I do a print, it will actually show me what IP addresses are configured on the Microtik router. So that's quite nice. And this is just a example of the difference between the colors of the command. So again, cyan is almost like a menu and purple is an actual, like a do. Like if I type this purple thing, it's gonna do something on the screen. Um, you might also see stuff like a green text and the green text is of mostly just um, information. So it's not actually doing anything specifically like the Microtik text here where our host name is. It's just green, it's just normal text. All right, now I want to also just bring up the command line history because this is actually quite uh, useful as well. So whenever you hit the up arrow key, it'll actually type out the last command that was used on the Microtik. And you can obviously go back as far as the commands were used. I've only used one command, which was the IP address print. So there you see if I up arrow, it shows me the IP address print. But if I do something maybe like um, interface print, you see if I type the up arrow, interface print is there. If I type up arrow again, IP address print is there. So it's nice and easy and quick to go about um, seeing what X commands were used. So this can help with the troubleshooting process. Maybe somebody added a bad configuration and you might be able to pick it up from the command line and that is quite useful. All right, so that basically covers the command line, how to navigate it, and the command line history. I'll catch you in the next video, see ya.